There's nothing I won't eat unless my body responds to it, like the smell. It's amazing how much we've like stepped away from our natural instincts. I think at the end of the day, we're animals. We have instincts. We can tell through sight and smell and touch whether or not something is bad. That's not a tried and true rule. I would say be aware of like more or less when it was thrown away. Just be cognizant of that. Um, you can look at the expiration date. It probably is irrelevant. So you could just ignore it like okay. I do. Yay! This is what I'm talking about. We got a sandwich. We got a cheese and fruit platter. This whole bag is just full of these. Barbecue chicken thing. So I'm just gonna just toss those back in there. If you haven't gone before, you will be amazed at what you can find. Everything. Everything is in the dumpster. I'm living off as much dough food as I can without being unhealthy. And there's no sign also here. So the fence isn't locked. Oh. Quick interruption, and you might have a few questions like, Dylan, where are you on the top of a hill in Oregon? Why? That's a good question. But this is an advertisement for a last pass, so let's get to it. We all have a lot of passwords. Looking for and remembering passwords is a pain, and getting locked out of account can be anxiety provoking. LastPass relieves the trouble and anxiety of remembering complicated passwords. I understand that the metaphor of the keys, it breaks down right about now, but that's okay because LastPass is way more than just a Hearing, but I'm gonna keep using it for visual purposes. With LastPass, you don't have to write down, remember, or reset passwords. LastPass takes care of all that for you so that you can stay sane. Put your passwords on autopilot with LastPass. I actually use LastPass and I find it extraordinarily helpful. I used to have a Word document listed full of passwords, complicated, all of them so confusing. But with LastPass, I only have to remember one master password or in the case of the mobile app, all I have to remember is my thumbprint, which I seem to never forget. I use it myself, I find it very helpful and I recommend it to you. It's completely free, so give it a try. Use the link in the description down below and enjoy today's video. Hi, my name is Renee and this is Gertie or Gertrude Stein. I was looking for a vehicle for maybe a month. I wanted to hit the road really fast. I had money already saved up and so I was itching to go. I liked how the Element utilized all of the space. So it didn't have any features just to look cool or interesting. It's like probably the ugliest car, but it's ugly for a purpose. And I really like how it's inconspicuous, it's super short, it has four wheel drive, it has decent clearance, reliability too. Hondas are just like super reliable. I was introduced to climbing by one of my roommates about three years ago. I instantly fell in love with it, but I was 26 at the time and I just felt like I had a lot of catching up to do. And I've always been into traveling and into stint work, saving up money for like the next adventure. I knew when I found out that being a dirt bag or living on the road was a part of the climbing lifestyle that it was perfect for me. This is Gertie, a Honda Element, 2005, 160,000 miles. <laughs> we have the cargo box on top, which stores climbing gear mostly. I have dirty clothes up here, all the climbing stuff, laundry detergent, um, and a camping chair. We have the water jug, necessary, and dry food goods in this bin here which includes Nutella, one staple. And then I keep my clothes in a shoe box holder. I just find that like the easiest way to organize in between. It's like a towel, some extra sweaters, and then like notebooks, books I'm reading, bungees I use for hanging the scarves. And I also use it to hang things to dry. But here's a Lucy light, it's charging, I have two. Okay, let's go to the back. This duct tape feature is actually only available on the 2005, so it's actually pretty special. Um, we got my two burner stove, more food storage, just like a lot of spices I keep in here. Tahina and peanut butter are staples as well. Um, and then I have my some bathroom products and climbing gear. The awesome thing about the elements is that all the seats fold flat. 
So you could even do use an element without building the bed, but I wanted to take one of the seats out so that I have more room for storage. I can fold it into a single, there's hinges. It's just plywood pieces, two pieces with hinges and then the carpet over those. So it can fold in half and then I can pop up the third seat for a passenger. Sometimes like if I'm in the city, I want more privacy than the scarves will allow or it's just too bright. So in that scenario, I use this to cover the windows. For the dirt bag, spices, so important. If you wanna live cheap, you gotta learn to cook with like all sorts of grains. These are all like Indian spices. I really like Indian cuisine. Dishes, coffee. This was from the dumpster. And this is not even 1% of what I find in Starbucks dumpsters. Coffee is rare. Like I, this was the first time I found coffee. But um, in terms of like baked goods, sandwiches, yogurt parfaits, everything that you ever could eat from Starbucks, it's a plenty. Um, these are just random like sunflower seeds from the dumpster. Um, and that's oatmeal, not from the dumpster. Oh, and toilet paper. You always wanna to bring toilet paper because you never know um, if you're gonna like get to an outhouse that doesn't have it or, like I'm all for natural, but it's harder to do that in certain places. The Northwest, it's quite easy. They have like little extra storage units on either side. It's fire poi, uh, shower slash cleaning stuff. It's exactly four feet too, so you can just get um, a, a sheet of plywood and cut it in half. From here, we access the cooler. I do a lot of trail running on the road as well. I like to hang a headlamp so I can easily access it at night. Also for stealth camping. I, I don't know, I guess the main tip is like, pee before you get there. Get in your car as fast as possible and then immediately like cover everything up. So stay out of your car until you are sleeping in it. And then when you wake up, just like, Preferably you exit the car with clothes on. Um, I think most people around would prefer that if you're in the city or in the neighborhood, but I've seen either, either or. Living in a dark crowded eggs, we dead, we thought. There was always on fire. I think that it's easy for me to make money while living on the road because, well, first and foremost, it started out with a pretty nice security blanket of savings. I've just always been a saver. Like, I've never been someone who goes out and spends a lot of money. I've always been, like, into buying used clothes. I had a good amount of money saved up. But then I also have always been, like, into working, like, stint-based jobs, like gigs. I am a big fan of Craigslist gigs. I've done, like, so many weird things, like food tasting. I was in this music video as a double. I've done like bartending at weddings. So I have like a lot of experience that I can put on a resume or that I can use to get jobs in like various fields. I think that's really helpful. So if you're someone that has like a pretty narrow field of experience, it might be trickier to find stint work depending on where you wanna go. But if you are in the restaurant industry, service industry, anything, or are exploring or have explored the gig Craigslist world, I think that's really beneficial if you want to be working like while you're on the road and just like post up somewhere, work for a few months, and then carry on. I would say absolutely do it. Don't hesitate. Of course there's danger. There's just as much danger, if not more danger in the city. Be smart, trust your instincts. If someone's making you uncomfortable, don't be alone with that person. I have mace in my car and like, but I still always lock the doors when I'm sleeping and I usually don't sleep in places where there's like few other people around, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's gotta be like either nobody else is around or I'm in a place where there's a bit of a community. I would say don't let that stop you because like it's not any more dangerous being on the road than it is being in the city walking to and from work or the subway or even being in your home. Like we've learned as a world that there's really no safe space. You should never let fear keep you from doing things that you want to do, but you should also do so with awareness, like just staying aware, attentive, because as a woman, that's just what we have to do. We just wrapped up dumpster diving here in Portland. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more about Renee, you can find her at Dirtbag Yoga on, on Facebook. Linked up down below. Yeah, as come well. take one of my classes on the road or dumpster dive or go climbing. Peace.
since someone's used to 